All right, this is a quick video on how to trigger the animations like waving while not being able to actually see the window or having a separate window open. This is good for when you're using the alternative input to like play a console game while streaming and it involves using the stream deck. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna create a multi-action. That's the biggest thing you're gonna get going. And then you can see down here, I have these labeled. So here's animates. You wanna make sure that that is pinned to taskbar in a specific spot. In this case, you can see it is spot four. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just create a series of actions. We want to go to system and hotkey is how you're gonna do a lot of this. So the first hotkey you're gonna do is, we'll just call it, you know, switch to animes. And you want to do, in this case, we wanna do Windows 4. That will switch us to Anime's desktop. Now you want to add another hotkey. In this case, you can see W. Or yeah, W does a wave. See that there? So we'll name this wave W. Oh, not not shift W, just W. Then I personally use a hotkey to go back to my OBS software, in which case that would be Windows key three. And now my OBS software is open on the other monitor right now, so you won't be able to see that. But then what happens is once you have that done, you have this button here, which would trigger waving. So I will go ahead and give that a test now while having the stream deck being the window that is selected and moving right now. And there you go. And now if I were to press W again, nothing happens because I have OBS as the primary selected window. Just that short thing is how you create a quick action to do a wave without a problem.